Actually, Auburn Avenue it was developed a number of years ago, but because the South was segregated, it had to have a particular place where blacks could go in business, recreation, theater, etc. So Auburn Avenue was founded and started by blacks. Then this became a corridor for developing black businesses. You had the barber shops, you had accountants, you had physicians, you had eye doctors, you had theaters. And one time in 57, Fortune magazine called Auburn Avenue the richest Negro street in the world. We had some very industrious people a long time ago. The, the privilege of uh, trying to do something for self and to be an entrepreneur, it all depends on the individual. The population uh, shift. It was people north, east, south, west. People from Decatur Street all the way back over to North Avenue. Uh, people from Coatland all the way past uh, Irwin Street down there. This was one of the largest wards in this city, in the city of Atlanta. This was the fourth ward. I believe that um, the love of the people having the struggle um, brought, us, brought, you, brought us together in this, in this particular part of the country. Um, a lot of slavery, a lot of um, impotence in terms of um, um, uh, illiteracy came because of the kind of uh, educational systems in which the South had to deal with. We need to re-educate Atlanta to what Auburn Avenue once was, those who don't know it. And the ones who do, we need to invite them back. But as time went on, when integration came in, uh, some of the people was led to believe that the grass was green on the other side. But I'm saying I got a big job. Well, I, I was one of the top federal officials in this in this region. I, I gave out a lot of money to black colleges, and I work with colleges and uh, school systems, helping them to develop programs, uh, preparing people to equip uh, uh, to to cope with with with, with, uh, with uh, integration. Blacks had real serious vision. Number one. And I always say that these blacks in those days, even during segregation, did more and built more than we can even maintain today. Any, anything that's built on a solid foundation should stand. If it's not on a solid foundation, it's going to uh, perish. It has to, and it has nowhere to stand. And then that has to be dealt with, and the foundation of that has to be in God. That's where the churches themselves have to come together again, when that was the nucleus of the, of the black community in the first place. We have a lot of stuff. We have uh, technology, people uh, making a little money, they doing all this kind of stuff. But uh, so the issues that were back then, it's not the same. We're dealing with more of a, um, a spiritual and technological and government issue right now and so you have to you have to deal with those things in a different way it's not so much of the marching in it anymore because everything you know society has has changed they would come to Auburn Avenue and would be treated more humanely here than they would anywhere else is because the whole street all the buildings uh, were built by blacks we see bicyclists now we see people playing in the streets now, and it's getting comfortable again. The streetcar is on its way, they say. Hopefully when it comes, people will hop off and join the fun. We trust that it will be a fun street again. It was wonderful. There are many people who passed, who left quite a heritage on this street.